What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. But, man, I had to <clears throat> speak on this situation again with the 16-year-old who was shot by Columbus um, police officer four times. This baby girl will still be alive. And I want you to listen. Don't, don't, please don't try to knock my character or speak. Give me a chance to say something. This baby girl will be alive, man. Okay? If her so-called father who would rather kick another female in the head while the police present. If this father would have intervened with young with the young sister She will be alive. Now let me say this. Every man ain't no father. I understand. A lot of you guys probably got kids. Don't mess with your kids. You probably don't know about how to be protectors. Okay. A lot of deadbeats. But I never was a deadbeat father. So. The police arrive at the scene after getting a call that someone had a knife. Okay, now let's make this clear because I have worked side by side with the police. I have done my own community street patrol in the city of Detroit. I have a patent. Detroit Street Watches is a patent. My organization when I did street patrol. So listen, you get a call, the call report of a young woman or somebody with a knife. It's going crazy. As you see, the officer, how did he know that? Baby girl was the one who made the call. He didn't know who called, okay? When he get out the car, he see a grown man kicking a woman on the ground. And that thing you see, a knife coming out and somebody getting ready to get stabbed. I understand four shots was too much. But if you know anything about automatic, sometimes when you when you put your hand on that release, it pop pop. It can sometimes happen that way. Y'all keep saying he could have used a, a laser. He could have got his leg. How, how many? Who to say that that would have affected that young girl? He didn't know. So you tasing me, but I still got the knife. So I can still jab, punch her. Now I did. As a real father. He would have intervened. He would have stopped it. Matter of fact, women don't fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, y'all females, don't bring that shit over here. This my baby. Woom, woom, woom. Girl, go back in the house. Got this. Y'all got to go through me to get to her. But yet and still, he allowed her to go get a knife. He's standing outside where he wants to start bucking. That's a punk move of a man who put his hand on a female, kicking anything. He should not have done that. Do you hear what I'm saying? So in that case, in that case, this baby girl would have been alive if her father, as soon as the police got out, her father would have went, grabbed the baby girl, grabbed her. Push, get out the way. This is my daughter. We, I got it. That's all he had to do, God damn it. Let's be fair on this, ladies and gentlemen. Don't start protesting. Don't start trying to out, get outraged and loot over this situation. It was a fucked up situation. But I blame her father for this. Blame the father for being a man who was standing there and watch his goddamn daughter get shot and then bitch about it. Don't no real man stand back and allow his child to do nothing like that. You are the protector, motherfucker.